Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yes, we're painting again. I've just been uh, mixing myself up some blue, a little bit of red, and some white. So the, these are all gouache uh, paints and they're all a bit dry. So what you do is you get some water and, it, and just like watercolors, you can reactivate them. So I'm going to do a bit of a train painting, a bit of train painting. And uh, what we need is a bit of a valley as well. So this is uh, the background mountain. which we're going to keep quite nice. I <laughs> just stopped my camera then. <laughs> uh, something like that. Something like that. Um, I want it to be more rounded, so I'm going to use my other brush. This brush, it's got more of a, a rounded edge to it. What's a little shape? Shapes. Looks out quite nice. And then we'll let this, well actually, while I'm uh, doing this, might as well get some, uh, some whiter white. And we'll put in like a white, maybe not quite white, a really light sky. Give it a bit of a blue hint to it. Okay. Yes, yeah, brush I'm using now, it's the uh, the Cotman Free, wait. <laughs> the Cotman six millimeter number six six eight. If you're wondering, I know when you first start painting, it's good to know what other people are using, so you know what to get. Because I I used to always think that get okay, what paint what paint are they using? What brushes are they using? What paper are they using? That's the things I used to always think <laughs> when I used to see somebody painting. I remember asking an artist once and he just looked at me kind of blankly. I don't know if it's because he's always getting that question or I think he was a bit surprised or something. I don't know. I think he really just wanted to sell his paintings. He wasn't too uh, fussed about <laughs> people asking him questions about what paints he uses. <laughs> All right, so. Go with that for now. That's not really an important part of the painting just the background. I want to go a little bit, um, just use, use my book to trap that. Doesn't seem to want to trap it today. <laughs> Can get some green in with this bluey white, 
just to come forward a little bit in the painting. So we'll come down here. Some of the yellow of the page is, might come through a little bit, but I don't really mind actually. Don't mind too much. When this layer dries, we can always paint over anyway. If it is uh, something we want to change, no problems. We're using quite a watery, like a proper watercolour today. <laughs> Usually we uh, go a bit thicker, but I'm, I'm quite uh, okay with the way this is coming out. A bit more blue and green as we get near the bottom. Now we will need to think about the train. What I might do. I might go over this once more as this is dry. Bit of the blue and blue and the red and the white and the green. Just so it fills in a bit. Yeah, that's a bit better actually. That's the beauty of painting. You can always keep changing it, make something a bit different. Even the uh, the photos, if you use photos. So I, I tend to use photos very loosely and change them. <laughs> do, do it, make it to be something that I want. And then uh, goes quite far away from the reference a lot of the time so that's kind of why I've not really been showing my reference because people will probably look at it and go oh well that doesn't look like the reference <laughs> but I don't want it to anymore it goes quite far away from it because you start doing what you want instead But if you want to have a go at painting this and you like this idea, then you could always uh, wait till the end, take a screenshot, and then uh, you can have a go at doing your own using mine as an example. Maybe use it as an example of how not to do it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm just trying to get the effect of some trees there now. As I've started to... Just get a little bit of a uh, bit of shape going on. important part because that was really background that's just background material <laughs> we want to be painting a train and also <laughs> we need to paint the bridge that it's going on so I think I will get some of the brown so I'm going to pick some brown some yellow ochre Put the green Get more of the brown show you the mixture <laughs> there we go sort of a dirty dirty green thinking about the rock or the stone of the uh, the bridge we'll start with that anyway so we want our bridge to be going along here. So I might use the longer brush. I said longer, bigger brush. Make a bit more of the colour, a bit brown, a bit of uh, Yellow, bit of green. So we're gonna have our train going along here. Probably wants to be a little bit darker. So we'll uh, go a bit darker along there. Okay, so it's where we're going to have our bridge. And go along here. And then we can start looking at the, uh, the curve of the bridge's legs. Need to try and make these uh, about the same as well. Got that one a bit wrong. <laughs> it's a bit, it's a bit off. I think using another brush. I think we can wash that leg away. <laughs> there we 
go. Get it rid of it. Reactivate the pain and uh, happy days. Curve. One, two, three, go there. Like that, and the next one. Something like that. So we can decide, like, maybe this end is the uh, the under part. So we can see a bit more dark there. <laughs> uh oh, my finger was there. Uh, it smudged. Good job you can reactivate the paint because uh, I've been in trouble quite a few times. <laughs> You know, you, you can spend a long time doing these paintings. You don't have to zoom through them. You can be you can really spend time getting them as perfect as you want. been wanting to do a painting like this for ages. I start to uh, get sidetracked when I'm painting. I like, I think, oh, what can I paint? Oh, yes, I want to try this. I want to do this. And then I forget that I wanted to do this. <laughs> I'm going to try so many different types of paintings. I meant, I meant to uh, do an abstract as well, which I haven't got around to, but I'm going to. I've also uh, started my YouTube members bit that I need to get going. I started it before, but I didn't really, I didn't have the uh, ability to do as many videos as I have now. <laughs> Because content is king, as they say. And uh, now I paint a lot more. I could make the content, so I'm planning on getting it started. Try and make this channel the ultimate channel. <laughs> as long as I keep making videos, that's all good for me. Anyway, <laughs> going off topic. Going off topic here, we need to uh, carry on and focus. What we need is some different 
colours in the bridge because it's a bit um, a bit boring. So I just threw some white in there just to make another colour and then uh, can pull out some details. Take some of these. Make some of this looks a bit look a bit different. Kind of like the idea of it um, being a little bit lighter in places. Apart from like the main sort of line part, keep that quite dark. So I was uh, I was on Photoshop earlier. I spent a bit too long on it, but <laughs> I was happy with what I created in the end, though. Got a, another painting idea. It's, it's totally invented out of my own head, and I just sort of made it up on Photoshop. I quite like it. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a fun one. I've got a bit of a tree here, so I'm just going to put some dark dark in there and over here as well. It's in front of that. Can add a bit more colour down here. More light in there. There's a bit of that colour in there as well. Got to try and trap that there so you can see. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just the noises of me painting. <laughs> Just trying to bring this together, really. Just bringing it together. So. I'm gonna put an indication of a few trees. And then, uh, oh, it's not quite dark enough. A little bit darker. Uh, 
There we go. Few trees and things down there. Something like that. God, this has been a battle with the uh, camera today. <laughs> So I want to sort of give a bit of a straightenedness to this. And I want to use a bit of colour to shapen this. That shape down there and that one as well. Okay. It's a bit better. So now I want to start putting a train on there. So I'm going to get some black. Just black on the brush. I'm going to have my train about there. Just imagine a, uh, a train there. I sort of imagine it as a, uh, it's like a tube, isn't it? Like a, like a tube that goes to about here, say. And a uh, piece sticks up. And then where the people in the engine are, maybe sort of there. Maybe sort of like that, and have this go to there. And then, then we'll need some carriages. It's something like that, it's not perfect. <laughs> so I want a bit of red and black. So I'm just getting some uh, red and black. be for the carriage colour. Mm. 
I want the carriage to be about as about there, maybe. Yeah, that's not too bad, is it? One. This carriage in. I want all the people to be able to enjoy themselves looking out the window. Maybe it goes to about there. And then have another one. About there, I think. So I've got three carriages. <laughs> when I was out walking, um, I saw a train, but when by the time I got the camera out, the actual engine had already gone past. <laughs> I was like, oh, gutted, because I really wanted a uh, picture of the whole thing. Never mind. Just using a bit of a brown and blue. Just gonna put that along the roof. the board <laughs> God, the railway is fantastic I do like going on a train I think it's I think it's brilliant bit of light on that and a bit of light there as well details don't want to go too crazy I'll use this sort of bluey color to do the windows as well it's just a bit of blue If you've never painted a train before, you'll be able to paint this one. This one you'll be able to do, no problem. No problem. Just going to use a bit of this dark colour just to uh, get the underside of this bridge. Yeah. 
So it's a good little uh, tip is to use the colours when you when you've mixed the colour, like I've used this dark for uh, the train and stuff. Then you can use it for other areas because you've already made the colour. You might as well take advantage of it. There, add a bit more detail to it. Put a little bit more detail on the bridge. Dry brush. Okay. I think that'll do for that. Now, to really get this going, is uh, using a little bit of white in with our grayish color. So I've got that um, grey colour that I was messing around with, put a bit more white in. And we'll start developing the schmook. Got a big, uh, big load of smoke, <laughs> which is what I've, I've been looking forward to painting in that smoke for ages. <laughs> so what, I'm going to get some pure white straight out of the tube. And I can get some brighter. Right, a colour on there. I might get a bit of Naples yellow in it. Bit of Naples yellow in with the white. Go. Gray in the color, just to do the bottom part.
Oh. So we've got a nice train going across now. And no, uh, what I might do just to uh get things a little bit brighter in places, I might imagine using a little bit of yellow yellow, red and white imagine there's a bit of light with the sun as going down maybe hmm I want a bit of sunlight hitting some of this Like this. to break it up a little bit, have a bit of light in this one side a bit more. Maybe the sun's going, but there's enough sun just to, uh, <laughs> it's going behind a cloud. Before it hits that cloud, it's just managed to light up this over here. To there. And maybe with a bit of that brightness, that strong colour, I can add a bit of light onto the actual train. <laughs> well that one car is a bit bright I don't actually think it works so I'm going to go back to the darker colour Maybe that cart's a bit newer, so it's a bit redder. <laughs> just thinking it just, I just thought it needed something more, but I don't know. I quite like some of these areas that are a bit brighter on here though, on the bridge, it looks quite good. I'll leave some of it. Gotta experiment, see what works, what doesn't. Because you never know what could happen. <laughs> but I do quite like this. I do uh I do like it. It's good fun, good fun. Anyway, I'm just really messing around now. <laughs> so I think I'm about there.
And we're about there. Just a, maybe a little bit of a bluey white, maybe, on the tops of some of these. Get a bit of light on them. Put some windows back in there. Well, yeah, I think I'll call this one finished. A fun little uh, train going across a bridge. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hope you've got your appetite to be creative going I mean I, I could keep going with this keep adding like blues and greys and things all all kinds of colours cools and warms in amongst each other like we've got going now it has actually brightened up the bridge a bit <laughs> I'm quite happy with it actually. So thanks very much for watching this one and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye.